So this is my laser and recently I've attached this thing to a telescope which has separate zoom and focus functions and uh, I'm using the telescope as a collimator lens and I did some testing last night some interesting results and so I want to go out again uh, shortly and uh, do some more testing so uh, I'm, I'm trying to figure out a way to transport this thing gently because it's kind of like sensitive equipment here and uh, so this morning I assembled this wood box just cut out of plywood and what I've done now is uh, I've got some screws here and here and so I've got that uh, laser wrapped up in plastic because I want to lay it in the box now on top of these screws and then I'm going to put uh, some foam in it and then the foam can get in around underneath there and kind of make a nice shaped cushion for that laser assembly. So and later when the foam is set up then I can uh, remove the screws from the back side from the outside of the box just zip the screws out and then this thing totally sits on the foam with uh, no more screws in there. So I'm using this window and door foam it's really gentle and I highly doubt that it's going to make any pressure to actually lift this laser assembly so it should stay in place nicely. Well it's not nearly as nice of a a foam encapsulated support system that you guy might find when you buy something from the store like a factory you know it looks a little crude but uh, hey I think it's gonna do the job ah wire in there and uh, so this one here it's kinda stuck on also and um, I, I laid some plastic over top of this assembly here and then uh, I sprayed some foam on top of the plastic then I quickly closed the lid and then I uh, let it I let it dry and this is what I ended up with so it gets this funny texture on the surface here because like I pull it apart when it's still uh, wet it takes that uh, top skim uh, layer off so that's why it ends up like that so so I think I think I could uh, move this thing around nice without having having it bang around 